하나, 둘, 셋. 헬로 e 바디 마이 님 이즈 제이. 나이스 투 미트 유. 오 웰컴 백. 이프 유 아, 낫 뉴. 벗, 음, 아, 데뷔 윙. 우! 아, 나 디사이 드 메이크 디 kind of behind the scenes look series for what goes on with the making process of the album late night this concept is going to be very exciting um, a lot of work has been going on to make this thing happen and i'm here to show you how everything came together so yeah the first time i came to korea was You guys actually know the first time I came to Korea. It was back in 2018. It was fall. And um, I had actually been invited to participate on a survival show called Under 19. Um, but back then, I was extremely inexperienced. Um, I had started singing really seriously about six or seven months before. I didn't know any Korean. I didn't know how Korean culture worked. I didn't know how K-pop as an industry worked. So, you know, just going in there as somebody not knowing anything. Due to that inexperience, I wasn't able to do very well on the show. I actually finished on the team that I was on, second to last place, and got eliminated first round. So, honestly, I didn't really expect to drop the first round. Um, it feels weird saying it, but at the time, you know, when the... first episode had come out I got that cliffhanger ending and and all this crazy editing but um, looking back it, it's quite plain why I didn't make it past the first round you know there was so much so much that I was lacking in that being said under 19 was an extremely extremely important experience for me because um, you know through that I was able to kind of understand a little bit more little by little how things worked over here and um, Five years later, um, I would be back on uh, survival program television um, as Jay from Boys Planet. And honestly, when you compare how I was back in Under 19 to how I um, was on Boys Planet, uh, it was, it's really clear um, what differences there were, how much more experience that I had, how much more training that I um, had received. And, um, Even though Under 19 was not my best moment, I would say it was definitely my best experience. Whereas, you know, things that I would have never known going in, such as, you know, how to look when in front of cameras, how to um, present myself in front of other people and other and judges and in front of fans, and how to, how to talk, how to perform, Um, going into Boys Planet, I would have never had any sort of real chance if I didn't first have that experience from under 19. So it really did help me with becoming more in tune with being a K-pop artist. And I think that really helped me the past few years. So, so when under 19 ended and the years kind of followed, Um, I had gone back to America, went on tour in America for like a year and a half. And, you know, after all of that stage experience, coming back to Korea, doing stuff here, receiving some training, um, doing all of that, especially after having been on Under 19, I still had those thoughts about Under 19 and how regretful that kind of was. So I was thinking that, you know, it would be awesome if I could... Uh, try one more time and see how I do and that's when the auditions opened for Boys Planet and um, I told the company hey um, I would love to do this if possible um, they were very very helpful um, helping me put together a repertoire of songs to audition with um, a location to film it putting together emails all that kind of stuff and um, I guess I just wasn't what Mnet was looking for because um, 
you know, it had been weeks and online it said that the, um, I remember the article specifically, it said um, the final auditions have finished and there's this many trainees from this many companies going onto the show and I was like, ah, well, you know what, at least I tried. And then, you know, a little bit of time passed. We plan on doing another short American tour. So while I'm in America and I, I'm already under the impression that I didn't make the audition because of, you know, the articles that came out and how much time had passed, um, I got a call from my deputy and she goes, guess what? I got a call from Mnet today. They want to talk to you one on one. Um, in Korea, they usually do these kind of things like meetings at like 6 p.m., you know, right at the um, evening time before it's time to go home. But in America, it was five o'clock in the morning. So um, yeah, we got on a Zoom call and um, I was able to talk one on one with um, one of the writers, one of the main writers of the show. And just on my laptop screen in front of my laptop camera and just a hotel room somewhere in, I think it was Texas. Um, I would dance, I did, um, Paradox Invasion by and Hypen, and I also sang. I sang a lot of songs. And it was after a couple of days where they found out, they realized that, wait a minute, he was singing like that at five o'clock in the morning? It was then that I was told, yeah, you're gonna be on the show. And I was like, oh man. I, I couldn't believe it because I'd already, I, I'd already been under the impression that I didn't make it, so finally being given that chance to just give it another shot on a survival show in Korea. Um, more than excited, I was determined to prove myself once more. And um, I'd say that goal was pretty much accomplished. While on Boys Planet, I would definitely have to say that nothing at all during those five months was as nerve-wracking as it was being on the final stage when everyone was being announced who was making it and who wasn't. I didn't want to disappoint myself because, you know, if you don't expect anything, then you can never be disappointed. But a deep part of me was like, man, I... Maybe, you know, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if I made it. I mean, who would, right? But um, um, I didn't make it. As everybody knows, I was absolutely bawling my eyes out. And um, more than anything, I was just relieved it was over. It was just a very difficult time. So just happy it was over, but also happy that I was able to have such an incredible experience, meet a bunch of wonderful people, and be able to just have front row seats to history was um, really how I felt at that moment. It wasn't until after the final was over and the next day when I kind of looked and saw that I was actually 10th place and that kind of surprised me. I didn't think I was going to be 10th place just because all the way since the first uh, ranking announcement I had been plummeting in rank. I think that more than a, oh man, I got 10th place, one more and I could have made it, it was more like, wow, 10th place is kind of crazy. I felt really honored and loved and knowing that all of you guys had my back, it was um, really, really just uh, beautiful. Just knowing that after all of this struggle, all of this, just all these months of just trying to prove myself, um, being top 10 out of everybody on that show felt like an honor. So it fired me up more than anything to kind of show you guys that I'm not just Jay from Boys Planet and hopefully I can now, show you guys that.
when it came to my parents and and boys planet you know of course they were very supportive especially my mom you know ever since under 19 she has always been very very supportive and you know going around online telling people to vote for me that kind of thing but I don't think she ever really understood how big Boys Planet was um, because I remember you know when I told my mom that I was gonna be on the final um, she was like oh man that's awesome that's really cool and I, and I said yeah like maybe you know since this is kind of gonna be a big deal you should probably if you can see if you can fly over and um, and watch and she told me that it was when she came into the stadium, in Chamsha Stadium, and saw how many people were there for just these 18 boys. Um, she kind of then really realized how big um, of a deal that um, this Boys Planet final was. And um, even though I didn't make it to the top nine, I remember she was kind of explaining how proud she was and... and um, it, it felt weird. It felt like she was more proud of the attention I was getting than I was. She kept like, you know, kind of like gassing me up. And I was like, all right, mom, okay, okay. That kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, my, my parents have been so, so supportive, especially my mom. Uh, my dad, he kind of knew what was going on because of my mom, but he was chilling. Actually, when it comes to my dad, um, he's had crazy influence on my life and actually his story is pretty wild as well um, as many of you may know um, my father was um, a rock star around the New York New Jersey area uh, specifically in the 80s and 90s 70s and um, really music was all what he was all about and when I was born he kind of went straight away with getting me molded into a musician. Originally, he wanted me to be a guitarist like him, but um, I started banging the kitchen utensils on the table whenever it was dinner time and he was like well oh great we have another drummer my relationship with my dad when I was a kid was a little bit strange. I would say, um, when it comes to the music part, he was always very, very good with the way he taught me. He was never adamant. My dad actually was, has never been in any context a very strict or like adamant, dominating kind of character. Um, and because of that, I would say I learned a lot of things um, very well. But when it comes to being a dad, I would say more than a dad, my dad was like just a guy with a kid, just a dude with a kid. And um, he'd always treated me more like an adult or like a friend than as his kid. And being a child, um, it kind of made me resent him a lot because he treated me with so much, you know, accountability and responsibility. Um, I was like, oh, well, uh, this isn't right. I don't want to do it or whatever, that kind of thing. I kind of came to realize as I became an adult that um, I actually really respect and appreciate the way that I was brought up. But yeah, my relationship with my father definitely went from kind of son that hates his dad into, yeah, he's my role model now. Um, and um, even though he wasn't able to have the music career that he wanted, um, he has confided to me recently that he lives vicariously through me. So hopefully by becoming a musician that is successful, I'm not only helping myself, but also doing it for my father as well. Yeah. 
Now, Boys Planet was, as you guys know, uh, a program that puts together a group of people, and yeah, Boys Planet is a group survival program. And um, although I've never really thought about being in a group before, um, you might be wondering, why did you go on this program? Well, you know, I just wanted to give it a shot and see if I could, you know, show the world what I had to offer. And if I won, try out uh, being in a K-pop group. But it didn't happen. Um, but through Boys Planet, I was able to meet a lot of other people, get a lot of fresh perspectives, and really find the fun and charm of being in a group. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. When it comes to being in a group, you know, I would say it's definitely more fun. Um, I get to show you guys different sides of me, especially depending on who I'm with. Like, for example, like when I'm with Camden, it's more like a brotherly kind of thing. When um, I'm with Chung Woo Hyung, it's more of like a Hyung Dong Seng kind of thing. Showing different sides of me um, is definitely a huge plus as well. As well as just it feels less stressful being one person in a group because you have less responsibility, less pressure, um, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas, you know, going the solo route, I'm able to show myself more, my story, um, push my specialties to 100%, and um, I have more creative control over things like the music and, and how I kind of represent myself. There's a lot of redeeming factors to both sides and I think it's going to be really fun um, just being able to debut solo and then being able to experience what being a group is like in a project setting. So um, hopefully um, I'll be able to take the experience from both paths and have a more clear idea of what it is I want. Once Boys Planet ended and the guys all debuted at Zero Base One, um, they invited me out to come and see them at the fan con. Watching them on that stage and seeing all the people in the stadium kind of cheering for them, it really made me feel proud. And seeing how far they've come ever since struggling together for so long um, was really uh, an awesome sight to see. But at the same time, it really did inspire me because um, I also want to be kind of in a position where I can stand on a stage like that in front of so many people. So. I felt very proud for the boys, but also um, inspired that maybe one day I'll be able to share a stage as grand as that. My final goal as a musician is to do just that, be able to stand on a grand stage in front of a stadium full of people and sing my songs um, to anyone willing to listen. So we've already finished all of the recording processes. The songs are underway. Um, the jacket photo shoot, um, and the pictures, you know, they, they, they're coming out pretty well. So I'm actually really excited to see how everything turns out. Um, I know that the songs um, are definitely very, very good. I, I like them, so hopefully you guys like them as well. Actually, when it comes to the songs on the album, um, I have been pretty heavily involved um, when it comes to things like, you know, references or... Um, making suggestions about the musicality of the songs or even like the lyrics themselves. I've definitely had probably the biggest involvement when it comes to the lyrics. Like, the English version of all the songs I've wrote 100% myself. Part of me wants to kind of prove to you guys that you know you're not just supporting Jay Chang, you're also supporting you know the artist behind the character. And um, I want to show you guys that uh, I am capable of not only performing that music, but also being a part of the creation as well. And hopefully, um, you know, through this series, I can kind of show you guys a little bit of that. So since the making process behind um, this project has been so extensive and very hard, I mean, it's not even over yet, so uh, it still hasn't hit me really, the reality of actually debuting. So maybe um, once the whole process is over and done with, and um, can sit down and take a step back and kind of look at everything, you know, maybe I'm gonna be freaking out a bit. I know that you guys are gonna be freaking out, so we can freak out together. Hopefully you guys like it. We're really excited to show you guys um, everything and hopefully you guys are excited to see it. Um, so everybody's worked very hard on this project. And um, 
I'm excited. I'm excited. Very excited. A little bit nervous. Very excited.